Okay, how to change a radiator valve? In this case, sorry, I won't change the radiator valve, but the valve is leaking from the top down here. Then what I will do, I close the valve, I pull the lid off, and because this is so with the water is so sticky, it's almost welded. I brush it with a metal brush first and after I will unscrew with the valve closed. Once you remove it, this, most of the valve they are all the same, you will find this piece is okay, we will use it later. You can see there is water in there. You will take a bit of your tape, let's say 10 centimeter, you do a nice, you wrap it together like this, and after you will turn around the top of the valve. You don't need a lot, 10 cm is enough, sometimes it's even more than enough, but this will stop. After you turn upside down this, and you put it inside, and you push it, just to start. Like this is going inside, just to be sure and safe, you can press with a more small screwdriver, a bit more down like this and it's touching now yeah after I clean the bolt and you can unscrew in back in You need to tight but the bolt, but not too much. After you will try to open and see if it's leaking. As you can see, it's almost fully open and there is no water coming up. Before I had two big puddles on the floor. When you open it all, just to be sorry, just tight this a bit, but not too much, otherwise it will be too, too hard to open the key. Yeah, and now it's working. Job done. I've done the same with this valve and it's working. I use this tape, it's very cheap. I bought for one pound, I think it will be even less, it will be even cheaper to buy. Before I had one paddle here and another one there. Anyway, easy job. Four minutes, five minutes you do both the valve. And that's it. Pretty much nothing more to add. I hope you like the video. And if you like it, I know I'm a beginning beginner. Please subscribe.